Hello, this is Martin Chuck, inventor of the Tour Striker Training Club, and I'm here live at the Raven Golf Club Phoenix, the home of the Tour Striker Golf Academy. It's a beautiful day down here. I want to talk to you about swing plane a little bit. To help me, I've got a couple of props. I've got a hula hoop, basic circle. You know, it really helps people to understand that the golf swing is on an incline circle. You know, there's games such as croquet, where we play in a vertical plane. The baseball is more, more of a horizontal plane. And golf is somewhere in the middle there where we've got an incline plane. And the golf club is designed to swing on that incline plane. The club is built with lie. And you know, if you watch Bronson stuff on Revolution Golf, great information. Every club's got a different lie angle from the putter to the driver. And therefore, every swing's got a different inclination. Now, I've got a little plane pillow to really make me aware of what I'm doing here my swing gets too inside out, I'm going to hit the pillow. If my swing gets too outside in, I'm going to hit the pillow. You can do this really well with one of those club boxes. Just set it down there and set your club and that will give you an awareness of your path. And If you hit the cardboard box, no harm, no foul. So I'm going to hit a couple of shots for you. Here's the down the line view and I'll slow it down for you as well. I'm trying to obey the law of the circle, the law of the inclined plane here. Okay, that was a solid strike. Didn't smash up the pillow, which means my club traveled in an incline pretty much on the path that I was aiming. So that's what we're trying to do, people. Now you'll notice on the way back, the club doesn't go straight back. It works back up and in, which matches the law of the circle, down out to the ball, and then back up and in. I see a lot of mistakes where people try to swing the golf club down the target line too long. What happens there is you are breaking the law. You're breaking the law of the circle. Here's my incline plane. If I take this club up this incline, that's where the shaft should be post impact. On the way back, that's where the shaft should be. This is called my first parallel right here. Parallel to my target line and in quite a bit, kind of over my toes. Back down to the ball, back up, and it's pretty much in front of my left hip bone on the forward side of my swing. Let's take a look from the face-on view. So here's a face-on view of this plane setup I've got to make me aware of the incline path that my club travels on, basically a tilted hula hoop. So I've got my little plane awareness tool right here, and I want to be able to take this, travel up the plane, down the plane, collide with the golf ball in an impact alignment, and get up the other side. All of this following the laws of the inclined circle. So let's hit a shot here, face on view. Give myself a little bit of room for my plane pillow here. And we'll slow this down for you. hold my finish and see how I did. You could see that I didn't collide with the pillow this way or collide with the pillow over the top. Basically means that the circle of my swing was on the right inclination and had decent direction. So when you're working on your swing out there, just think of this tilted Ferris wheel. You know, Ferris wheel is vertical. Let's tilt it on its side. Let's let that thing swing around us, free wheel into a nice finish. You're gonna play a lot better golf. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments and questions down below.